So that's my review of the Hold Peak HP 846A uh, digital wind speed and a, and a, and the monitor. Um, and a meme, I'm on it. I can never pronounce that. Anyway, it's a wind gauge. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that's this guy right here. And um, uh, it comes with uh, the vane right here. Or the propeller, whichever. <laughs> anyway. Um, so it comes in a storage box like this. Um, keeps it well protected. Uh, here's the box. Comes with instructions. Uh, two sheets of instructions here on how to calculate wind flow and things like that and the best use and so on. Um, kind of talks about all the features as well. Um, I'm not a HVIC guy. I um, am a weather geek. I love, um, you know, the weather. And I live in an area where there's high, high wind speeds coming out of the Columbia River Gorge. And um, it's always fun to, um, to check different areas of town as to where, what the speed of the wind is. And so I wanted to pick up something like this to take with me when I'm out and about on town. Um, there's an area um, in the gorge at um, Crown, Crown Point where speeds can reach in the excess of 100 miles an hour in the wintertime. And there's a group of people that go up there usually when that's good, you know, when the winds pick up and uh, they go up there with their, their meters and um, one of these days I'd love to join them because, um, you know, it's, it's a phenomenon that is pretty cool. It, and it happens a lot on a clear day, not so much a cloudy day, um, because of the, the air pressure between the eastern end of the gorge and the western end of the gorge. Is, there's such a difference in wind pressure, so um, that would be fun to do. Um, but uh, this is the, the front of... The, the fan and anyway um, it's got a temperature gauge on it and I'm not sure where it reads the temperature from I'm guessing it's from the tip here uh, somewhere in here uh, anyway yeah the temperature went up when I when I breathed hot air on it so it's definitely picking it up picking up the temperature from the tip up here and um so um the gauge has a light and there's a button to turn it on on the front panel so you can now kind of see what the panel looks like it doesn't last for a long time because it doesn't want to burn out the battery and i have it set for miles per hour but there's a button on here for um volume or unit and you can change the unit uh, very quickly um, and turn on that light I can't see it <laughs> there we go um, and so you can change you can change the Sorry, I touched my mouse pad. <clears throat> so you can change the, the unit. There we go. And it's also got the um, Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature settings and so on. Uh, it's got hold features um, and See, I got a little desk fan here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and I have it set for miles per hour. And I'm just gonna do a little test here. It's reading.
and I, I pressed hold and you can see that it, it holds the, the the last speed that it was registering and um, press it again and it clears it and um, overall this is a pretty cool unit um, it, it's got this um, this handle and it's got a USB end on it I'm not sure why it was USB but it is USB and it just plugs into the side right there so you just plug that right in and you can unplug it and plug it while it's on uh, it doesn't seem to matter um, the other thing that I want to show is when you first get this uh, the battery it's a 9 volt battery and it's in in the compartment here but it's wrapped in plastic so um, when you open this you you need to kinda uh, be careful taking it out it's not already plugged in it's this battery's wrapped in plastic um, so um, to get it to to start you obviously need to take it out of the plastic and pop it back in um, there is a seal around the battery compartment you see the black black seal around it uh, that's a rubber gasket and then the battery compartment screws back in uh, there's little screws you can see the holes there I'm not sure what these little um, threads are for here I tried it on my tripod um, uh, fitting and it doesn't doesn't fit on that so there might be another piece of equipment or something that that attaches to um, this also has the same fitting on it so uh, it's not a it's not a fitting for um, a tripod you know like a camera tripod that kind of fitting so I'm not sure really what it what it is but um, you know this is a, a pretty fun gadget to have um, you know, uh, like I say, I'm not in the HVAC industry, so I, I really can't comment on um, how it works in that field. Um, but um, you know, this is um, definitely um, something that I will be um, uh, using this winter time when the winds pick up, and. Um, You definitely want to um, also make sure that you have this facing the right direction. There's a an indicator on here which direction it's facing. Let me see. I guess it really doesn't matter which end. Uh, the instruction said that there was an arrow inside and I don't see it oh yeah there it is <laughs> it's on the very top you'll see that arrow up there see the white arrow um, that's the direction you need to face this guy so um, you're facing into the wind with the logo forward so anyway um, that is my review and um, it's a pretty cool unit, and um, overall I like it. Thanks for watching.